Well, it's uh, the 25th of October and we are just two days away from Diwali, the festival of lights and prosperity in India. It's a special day for 1.3 billion Indians and 30 million of the Indian diaspora around the world. But Diwali is not just one day of celebrations. It also marks the festive season, which runs from October to December. That is a key period that drives consumer demand in India. Now, like Christmas, Diwali is not just a religious festival. It's also big for business. So expect massive sales and huge discounts on home appliances, cars, smartphones, smart TV, smart watches, smart everything actually is on discount. This year, in fact, automakers in India like Maruti, Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, owing to the sluggish demand, are taking the opportunity to offer deep savings, deep discounts from 6,000 to 17,000 US dollars across product categories. That is, online retailers like Amazon and Flipkart are also jumping on the festive bandwagon with offering discounts ranging between 60 to 90 percent on their products. Now, Red Sea Consulting predicts that the total online sales in value terms for the whole of October could actually hit $6 billion this year, reflecting a 30 percent growth from 2018. And let's not forget the lure for gold. Indians love gold. So typically, Diwali is a peak period for the jewelry sector. But according to the World Gold Council, a 20% rise in gold prices has led to India's gold imports actually falling 60% during the July-August period. In lieu of that, some gold traders predict that the demand for the precious metal actually could drop by 30% this season. On the flip side, however, there is perhaps more hope for the property sector. Real estate developers are likely to offer more freebies to attract buyers during the festive season. PropTiger.com showed home sales actually jumped by 30% during the October to December period last year. And with home loans getting cheaper, housing demand may see a boost. Finally, let's look at the net impact that all of this has uh, from Diwali on India's economy. The festive season accounts for 35 to 40% of annual consumer sales some analysts expect that volume growth of 8 to 9 percent this year can actually help, if those numbers are right, in lifting growth, in reviving growth into the second half of FY20. However, no matter how the business around the valley shapes up, it's still a time for celebrations. And so I'll take this moment to wish all our viewers a very happy Diwali and a prosperous new year ahead.